Hello everyone, I've been watching the Star Wars series, The Bad Batch, the new season came out, and it's probably my second favorite series right after The Mandalorian. And the ships in that series inspire me to build this, specifically the transport ship. I am being very generous with the word inspire here because clearly it doesn't look anything like the ship. I mean, it's not, it's not even close. But that is only because we just don't have the parts in this game to make it just like it. However, what I tried to do, I think the biggest inspiration was those wings were kind of tapers, you know, the, in the opposite direction. So that was the main thing. Then I tried to combine the black and white into a stone trooper type of vibe type of thing. So this is what came out. And I am pretty happy with it. I think it's a pretty, a pretty decent design. Now I know this cockpit is being very overused. But I gotta say, it's just it's just a good looking cockpit and definitely looks better when it's at the front. You know, we already try making different designs with this copy at the back or in the middle. The designs just don't look as great. But this, this over here is pretty good. And of course, we make sure that all the stats are as good as possible. We got a pretty good hull, a 1584 shield. 1450 i did not go with the best shield i know that there is a better one that gives you 1600 the only reason is because of the mass i wanted to keep the 6000 cargo and i didn't want the mobility to drop below that having a heavier shield it would lower the mobility or i would have to reduce that nice 6000 even number in cargo Besides, it's only 150 difference of this shield versus the other one. So I don't think it's a big deal there. Crew 11, max is nine anyway. Jump range, we got 30, 100, 130 top speed, mass 4188. So this is a pretty good, well-balanced ship. And for weapons, I've been using the same set lately and it's getting the job done, even a very hard difficulty. So we always have the PBO 300 Auto Alpha, and we have four of those. Then we have the PB 100. We also have four of those. And these two have a lot of range, a 3,300 each. So you can start hitting enemy ships before they start hitting you. Then I have the NKE 4A Auto Ghost Gun. We also have four of those. This is to finish off enemies once they get closer. If you have the credits, if you want, you could go with even higher weapons. You can go with the PB-175 and then the, instead of the MKE-4, you can go with the MKE-9 auto ghost gun. Although the 9 only allows you to have 3 instead of 4. So I went with, the, with this one because I chose quantity over quality. I think it looks pretty decent. This is probably my favorite angle. This looks fantastic. And when you look at the front, hmm, I don't know, it's a little bit strange. I can say that, you know, it's like a too much wing, a little bit too much wing, but but I think overall it's still, it's still decent. And uh, I do like the look from the back. So I'm going to now take you guys inside. We're gonna do a quick tour of the interior. As we come up, we are in a one by one storeroom and this storeroom leads to the cockpit on one end and a docker on the other end. This one here is the hub spine. So I like the look of it and also helps get rid of ladders when you don't want them. So this here is a two by two living quarters from Strau, my favorite living quarters. And I have the docker here at the back. It does bother me a little bit that it is here because it makes going into that room a little bit more difficult, kind of breaks otherwise a perfectly nice open, open hallway, if you want to call this. I might think of something in the future and I see if I can move it somewhere else. But for now, I'm gonna just leave it here. And here on the side, I have a research lab on one end. And if we go further, I have now the workstation with all the workbenches and everything just here. 
Now, if we go all the way to the other side, what I have is a captain's quarters. This is a Deimos captain's quarters, and it's pretty nice. I think it has quite unique furniture. So we have a captain's quarters, and that is pretty much for this side. And if we go further on the other end, we have this is a two by two living quarters from Nova Galactic. It has a pool table. I think it's pretty cool. It's just something different. And I put a window here, pretty good view. And on the other side, I just have this two by one, only one berth from Nova Galactic. This one's pretty unique as well because you have a research station, then you have a console here and a galley here for, for cooking and things like that. Put out this, of course, another window on this side. And this is probably one of my favorite things. Why is Vasco here? Oh, well, look at that. Usually Vasco is rolled into a ball somewhere in the ship, but okay, whatever. So I like this one because of all this space, empty, you know, nothing. So it's very easy to run across and get to the cockpit. And of course, here is the inside of the cockpit. And instead of using ladders, we are basically using the stairs here to go to the second floor. As we come in, I have a two by one Nova Galactic control station. And that leads to a battle station, a two by two battle station from Stroud. This is also another one of my favorites. And I put a couple of windows here. Thought, you know, it's a battle station. You want to be able to see outside, see your enemy ships and stuff like that. Why is Andrea sitting not on a chair? Man, so many glitches in one video. Okay, so on the other side, I put here only one berth. It's just an only one berth, nothing special. Also a couple of windows as well, just like on the other end. It's pretty good. And uh, now at the very back, I have another corridor. And this leads to a three by two, uh, what is called? This is, oh, the mess hall. This is from Nova. And it is one of the few two by three hubs that you have in the game. And I have a couple of windows at the back, just facing straight to the back. Beautiful view, so. Okay, so that is it for the interior. It's pretty simple. Uh, okay, yeah, one thing about these uh, hallways, the, the spines, is that sometimes when an NPC gets stuck here, you can't go through, it's too narrow. Unlike, you know, hubs where you can go through, like this one, oh my God, and now you have to just push them, you have to go back or forward to kind of just get them to move. So this is one of the annoying things about, come on, come on woman, go, get out of the way. <laughs> come on, get out of the way, get out of the way. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's, that's one of the negatives of having those corridors. It's just too narrow for you to go through if an NPC gets stuck. And if Vasco gets stuck there, oof, you are not gonna go through. You're gonna have to exit the ship and get back in. So this is, this is strange that Vasco is fully operational here, but okay. So that's it for the interior, let's go out. Okay, let's get on with the building. I split the ship into different layers, different sections, so that you can follow more easily. Now before that, before I start going over every part, I'm gonna put here on the screen a shopping list of all the unique parts and their locations so that you can go there, buy those parts, put it on the ship that you want, but then go back to your outpost on your big landing pad so you actually do the building there. It will be much easier because you will have at least all the general parts or the structure parts in one location. All right, let's start with the base layers, the bottom two layers. I'm gonna start here with the top. We have a two by two Nova Galactic living quarters next to a two by one Nova Galactic all-in-one berth. And behind that, we have the demo storeroom 
This is the one that connects to the landing bay. Behind that, we have the Hope Tech Hub Spine. Behind that, we have the Stroud Living Quarters 2x2. Two two. And next to that, we have the Stroud Science Lab. Here on the side, I have the Stroud Nose Cap C. And the reason why I put it in this way is that so that I can connect this Nova braking engine on the outside. Behind that, we have a Stroud engine bracer. This is just for looks. And behind that, we have the Hope Tech Hub Cross Brace. And then here, we have the J52 Gamma Drive. And next to that, we have the 220 landing gears from Deimos. And behind that, we have the SF40 reactor. Attached to the sides, we have the M50 Ulysses helium tanks, 250 each. Now here, we have a Nova Bracer, and then behind that, a Deimos Belly. This part actually connects to the layer on top of this. It does not actually connect to anything on the side in this level, so just keep that in mind. I put the shield here. This is the only ship that I built that I was not able to completely make it symmetrical. Usually I like to have the shield in the middle, somewhere here, but I couldn't find a place. I didn't want to remove any of these structure parts that I have here on top. So I just hit it here. Okay, so let's go to the bottom. We have the landing bay. This is the Deimos 120 landing bay. Next to that, we have the Hope 5 landing gear. I have here a cargo hull. This is a shell the cargo hull, the 10ST hauler. Then we have a couple of NG20 landing gears. We have uh, basically five around here. However, they're using different variants. So this is the third variant. This is the first variant. This is the second variant. So I just switched them around just to kind of make it a little bit different we have the docker here at the back and then oh i also have two more cargo holes here smaller ones the cavell v102 cargo hole one on each side they attach to the docker actually so there we have it so that is the first two layers and oh i have a couple of windows you know there's a pothole here on the other side and this is a structure just a nova thruster uh, just for looks Okay, so now we have the wing. We're gonna talk about this. Let me actually remove this to the side as well. So you guys can see. We have a hub and this is a two by one. So I made this one the captain's quarters. And below that, I have the Stroud engine mount. So this mounts below. And behind that, I'm mounting this Deimos belly. This is all just for looks. And then here at the front, we have a Nova weapon mount where I have some of the weapons. And then on top of this, you're going to add the mid caps. This is the Tayo braking engine, the Tayo mid cap, one and two of those. And then at the back, the Sal 6830 engine. This basically will go on top of the Deimos hub. This will go in front because this will take two vertical spaces just like the engine and then outside is just basically the same thing but instead of a half below you're using all mid cap flip you know top and bottom and all of these will just goes in there same thing with the other side is exactly the same thing as here and then when it comes to aligning this so you just have to make sure this aligns to the entrance at the back. And you can just move it and there you go, there you have it. Same thing with here, we can highlight and put it in and there we go. And that is it for those first levels. Now it gets easier from here. So this is the third layer. We have the Nova Capot C3 bridge followed by a two by one Nova Galactic Control Station. On the side, I just have a Nova Radiator and this is the M10 Ulysses Helium Tank. Behind, a 2x2 Battle Station from Stroud. And next to that, a 2x1 Stroud Only One Birth. 
a couple of port holes around the hubs. And then we have another hub spine that leads to the 2x3 Nova Galactic mess hall. And behind that, we have two windows, two port holes, and at the center, we have the Deimos belly. So all of this, we can just highlight the whole thing, except for the helium tanks, and this goes in here. So, you know, everything matches now. Put the helium tanks now back here, and then the shield will stay here, and it gets covered by one of these cargo holes at the top. So finally, we go to the top level. So we have at the beginning the Nova Coaling, followed by two Nova Coalings, just the different variants. These are the middle variants, followed by two structures, same. These are Hope Tech Cap B, two of them, the same. And behind that, we have a Deimos Hall A. Behind that, we have the Deimos Tail. And here, these three things are the Deimos Spine A, the Deimos Radiator and the Deimos Spine B, just so that everything kind of um, kind of sits uh, flash. And then on top of that, we have a weapon, the MKE-4A, same thing here. Next on the side, we have the Galium S203. We have two of those. Behind that, we have a Nova Radiator. Then here is the Nova Weapon Mount with the rest of the weapons and then the engine. So we have same thing as the other floor, the tire braking engines, the mid caps, all the same. And then at the back, the saw engines. And that is, that is it for this level. There is nothing else. So we can highlight. We probably have to uh, highlight certain things. Here we move it. Then I think this goes in here, this goes in here, and this goes in here, then this goes in here, and this goes in here. I have an error, why do I have an error? Unattached modules, okay, let's click on everything. What is unattached? Oh. So this thing looks like it's not properly attached. Uh, we have just to move it around, make sure it gets attached. Uh, okay, perfect. Now it's attached. So it's a, it gets attached to the top, but sometimes you just have to move it a little bit. So it gets properly attached and there you have it. So that is it for this build. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how this compares to the inspiration. Even if we don't consider the Star Wars inspiration, all that stuff, I think it's still a pretty good ship. It's a good look. I think it's pretty unique. Look, having the six engines arranged in this way. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Let me know what you guys think, yay or nay. Enjoy the game, have fun, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.